Today I'm out for a scouting trip on a nature trail or a hiking trail which is just outside a place called Lorcha. Now I decided to come out here early for a couple of reasons. One is I thought I would uh, attempt to get some hiking in before it gets too warm. And uh, also I thought, you know, there might be just a possibility on the early part of the hike that I'll find something interesting to photograph while the light is still quite nice. So uh, I actually headed out very early this morning, left home just before five, and uh, I stopped off and did a photo shoot overlooking an old town. Uh, did a video on that. If you haven't seen it, I'll stick a link to that up there now. But right now, I'm just out for a walk along this trail. It kind of follows along, I think it's the Serpa River. So I'm hoping I might find something along here. If not to photograph today, maybe I can come back another day. So we'll see what we find. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, and you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. So when you uh, come to this place, there is actually a visitor centre, but I drove a little bit further up and parked up by uh, an old railway station and an old, some kind of factory building. Not quite sure what. And right by there up on the hill, there's the remains of a castle. Um, it's got uh, some scaffolding and that on it, so it's not particularly picturesque. And then it's just a case of following the trail along. Now at the moment the trail is up quite high, I'm well up above the height of the river, which is kind of a shame because I kind of feel like the action's all down by the river. But hopefully the trail will dip down later and take me down there because I can't see any other way of getting down. I just carry on having a little wander along and see what we can find. a little sign on the side of the trail followed the side track down and then some kind of little artificial pool here uh, not quite sure what it is uh, I don't think it opens up any photographic possibilities but always interesting to check these things out you're never sure what you're going to find got a gorgeous view here and uh, I think it's worth doing a shot basically what we've got is the the river down below there's some quite nice colors there's dark greens there's light greens there's little pink flowers there's some rocks in there and then in the background there's a whole load of foliage and then the side of the mountain and then the sky so we got some rocks here bushes here, the river running through, we've got some reflections of the mountain in the background. So all I'm going to do is wait until a bit of light comes through because the light is kind of coming through some weak cloud. Some light coming through the gap now, it's kind of illuminating the background area which looks quite nice. It's a job to see on the camera screen because I'm having to get it so dark to avoid blowing the highlights. But I now bring that way up, you can probably see.
tunnel coming up. Okay, I found this cascade over this wall here and I thought, yeah, I've found something now. You know what, I'm really struggling to make it work. I've tried getting lower down, I've tried getting higher up. I've tried my normal length exposures sort of between half a second and a second for waterfalls. I've even tried going all the way up to like 30 seconds somehow it's just not grabbing me I'm gonna take a shot anyway and I'll show it to you but I don't think it works disappointing I thought this was gonna be nice but I just cannot seem to make it work maybe it's the light there's nice light up above but it's pretty shadowy in here so I've gone vertical orientation using one of the pools in the rocks in the foreground then there's another pool then there's some rocks and then there's the cascade in the background I've got on a variable ND filter because uh, I don't want the strength of a 10 stop uh, so about 0 0.8 seconds Okay, I've decided to uh, head back now, explored a little bit further along, but this particular trail runs basically between two towns. And although you can do the whole trail in one go, you normally need to start in one town and end in the other, because uh, it's too much to go there and back again in one go. It's certainly a beautiful place. I mean, there's sort of beautiful rocky walls all the way around. There's some nice plants and trees. I mean, still mostly pine trees, obviously, but it's still nice. And it's a beautiful place to walk. A little bit frustrating photographically. And that's basically because I can see so much potential, but it's all down by the river and I just can't get down there. There's the water rushing through between some nice looking rocks. And I just think if only I could get down there, we might well have something interesting, but it's just not possible. Now, as I said, this trail does go basically between two towns. So I think what I'm gonna do is in, I don't know, a couple of weeks or whatever, I don't know yet, I'm going to go to the other end of the trail and explore from there and just see if that opens up any extra possibilities. I decided to stop off in this tunnel. I just thought there might be an image here. Uh, what I've done is I'm part way in, so I've got bright light kind of yeah, that way, but I'm pointing the camera that way and there's just a hint of light coming in from the end of the tunnel. And that's painting all of the textures and uh, 
uh, everything in the scene. And I don't know, I think it looks quite nice. I've got the camera sort of in the middle of the tunnel and the, the bright part at the end is right in the middle of the frame. Uh, it's F8 and 30 seconds because it's pretty dark in here. starting to get quite warm now and uh, I think I want to go home <laughs> I'm not sure how successful this has been as a photography trip but as a scouting trip it's been you know reasonably interesting I think the location is very very beautiful but very very frustrating because I can see so much potential down by the river but I just can't get to it and I think what I might end up doing, apart from doing the other end of the walk at some point and checking it out, is I think, you know, in the winter maybe, or you know, autumn or spring when it's quite a lot cooler, is basically come up here for a day. Just spend a whole day here, bring, bring me some lunch and uh, just spend the whole day exploring. Because I suspect I've scratched the surface. But I'm not going to rush back just to do photography. Not just yet. I think there's uh, more exploring to be done. But like I say, it's a beautiful place. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a like, share it on social media, leave me a comment. If you've enjoyed this and you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. And as always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. So thank you very much. And until the next video, Bye.